All right, we're recording. Testing, testing. Talk over there. Hi. Evan, talk. Hey. Okay. Get a little bit closer, Evan. We'll go cheek to cheek. <laughs> All right, I'm just turning on the mics now. <laughs> Welcome to sports. I'm Connor Kirst. I'm Jeremy Swordup. And I'm Evan James. Or as I like to call him, Evan Flocka James. That is also a thing. Yep. No, it's not. Okay, it's not. Okay. I, I'm the this, only person who calls it. This just in not a thing anymore. Okay, well, we're going to talk about uh, some Bills news today, as neither me or Evan watched the Bills game yesterday. Jeremy was the only <laughs> I did person. Not. We were both at work, so we had an excuse. So we're going to talk about uh, Kyle Orton taking over for EJ Manuel as the starting quarterback of the Buffalo Bills. Were, were you guys as shocked as I was when you heard this news? No. Nah. No? <laughs> it didn't surprise you at all? No. No, I mean, as much as I can argue it that, that EJ Manuel statistically is a great quarterback, he's just not shown for it, and mm -hmm. I think we just need a little change up. I mean, I don't think that necessarily means that Kyle Orton's going to come in and be ten times better than EJ Manuel, but I think maybe the change up <clears throat> might... Um, you know, kind of freshen up the team a little bit. I mean, I hope so, just because really the offense has not looked good as of so far, just because there's been certain plays where they've been looking good. Like, uh, I, I thought some of the Sammy Watkins stuff from whatever what that was two weeks ago mm -hmm. was pretty good. But for the most part, I mean, you look at struggling on third downs and yep. not being able to score in the red zone. I mean... And that, that's, that's not entirely all on the quarterback, but... It definitely plays a part in it. I don't think that yesterday's game really had anything to do with quarterback play. I mean, there were a lot of great chances, but I think Sammy Watkins just did not have a good game. He just was not catching as many passes as you would like to see him catching, especially yeah. after his, his first game where he was kind of just, like, tearing up, getting lots of yards and stuff. And yeah, that was against the... Um Ever played in week two? I don't even remember. Dolphins. Dolphins, that's right, yeah. <laughs> but Probably should remember that. We're a sports show. <laughs> yep. It's one of the only handful of wins we're going to get this year, probably. So. Yep. I mean, uh, let's let's not jump to the conclusion and say that the Bills are going to have a bad season. They're 2-2. Two and two. You know, yeah. there's only a few teams in the league that are 3-1 and one right now or better. You know? I sort of feel like this was like a must-win game for the Bills, though. I mean, the Jets still suck. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, we'll see what New England can do tonight. Yeah, against um, the Chiefs. And the Chiefs have been a mixed the, bag so far. We're, so. we're still ahead of the Dolphins. Mm -hmm. Still ahead of the I Jets. I mean, we still have I, – I still don't I, – I mean, I don't think that right now we're in a position where I really believe we're going to be playoff material. But I can definitely see that maybe we could win the AFC championship. But that's about it. The AFC Championship, like going into the playoffs. You just said we okay. wouldn't make the playoffs, and then you said I we would get the I just contradicted myself. Winning the division? We'd still make the playoffs winning the division. Yeah, but... What are you trying to say? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know. My favorite Kyle Orton memory was when he RKO'd Hulk Hogan and then started to date his daughter. <laughs> um, I believe that was Randy Orton, who, yeah. while he was playing for the Denver Broncos, of course. They they aren't the same person. Yeah, they are. Okay. Yeah. So why did you correct me? RKO, Randy Kyle Orton. He go yeah. he alternates. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. I know, I know my sports. <laughs> so does that mean the tribal tattoos are fake? It's the only thing fake about it. Is, is <laughs> Kyle Orton actually Dave Grohl? Yeah. Kyle Orton also confirmed to be Dave Grohl. Hmm. Some crazy Kyle Orton. Is Dave Grohl really Jesus? Depending who you ask, yes. <laughs> is Dave Grohl really the devil? There's video, video graphic proof of him. Is that a word? I don't even know. Video evidence. Visual representation. Yeah, he, he was he was definitely the devil in a video that I saw. Tenacious D. I have seen those. Yeah, the Pick of Destiny. It wasn't actually the Pick of Destiny though. No, it was tribute, wasn't it? Yeah, it was tribute. Okay, that's what I thought. Well, he was also the devil in another one. We we're already way off topic. Well, no, we're, ta we're talking about Kyle Orton. Kyle here. Orton. Or, A.K.A. Dave Grohl. A.K.A. Randy Orton. All right, so the Bills. 
Uh, what, what did you think about this Bills game, Jeremy? You were the only one of the, us three who actually watched the Bills game. You know, I thought they started out with a decent start, but it just it seemed a lot like their uh, week one game where the offense just was not doing well at all. Our defense did fine. I think our defense did great. Yeah. But our offensive line just could not handle J.J. Watt. Watts. Yeah. You know. I mean, there's not many offensive lines in the league that can handle J.J. Watt, but I actually saw a stat that J.J. Watt hit manual uh, nine times. So, I mean, if you're going to hit by J.J. Watt, who is a massive human being, who's a freak athlete, nine times, that's not going to, you're not going to win many football games if you're a quarterback. No. I mean, he didn't get any sacks, but, I mean, at the end of the day, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> I mean, um, <laughs> the thing that bothers me, though, is, and I think it's a conspiracy, is that he wears... <laughs> He he Go wears on. this thing on his arm that looks like a almost like a knee brace, but for your arm. Arm and I brace. Remember seeing, An elbow brace. <coughs> I remember. <laughs> yes, I remember seeing Ray Lewis wear one. Do you think that this <laughs> this might have some kind of technology we don't know about making players like them better? Absolutely. I, I was mean, really hoping you were gonna say he killed someone. I mean, if you've seen the movie, <laughs> he probably has. I mean, if, probably. if you've seen the movie Elysium. No, which I have not. They're, they they have him wear this bionic like exoskeleton suit. Maybe this this. Maybe they borrowed that technology and gave it to brace. JJ Watt. Yeah. I mean, is it is it impossible? I don't think so. Is it possible? Yeah. Now you don't like JJ Watt too much, do no, you? No, I hate him. He he's got that sort of a that punchable face, in my opinion. Um. To you know me, I mean? it's like he's a great athlete. Yeah. But I think he's a Delta Bravo. <laughs> okay, I got you. Aha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. He, he gives off that vibe. Like um, he just sort of he looks just like. He just seems a, like he's got like a tool type attitude. And we're not talking about Jeff Tool here. No, if we were talking about Jeff Tool, we'd be talking about Super Bowl and the Bills. Um, You're talking Tool to me? <laughs> tool time. Confirmed to be the actual name of the show within that a show Tim, on Tim Home Tim Allen stars on. We found that out last week. In Home Improvement as Tim Allen. Like I said last week, I was more of a Fresh Prince guy. I didn't really, I didn't really mess with Home Improvement much. Yeah. And what I, I remember I talked about Full House for like half a second, but I don't know what I had to Full do Full House was anything. decent too, actually. It wasn't bad. Then, then I discovered the Fresh Prince and I'm like, no, nah, I'm not going to watch Full House. Have you ever watched these shows as an adult? Like, with maybe the exception The Fresh Prince holds up. No. Full House does not. Y you're probably right in that. Full point. House does not. I tried to watch it the other day. Mm -mm. Did you ever see Bojack no, Horseman? I, I it's that new Netflix it show? Day. Yeah, I, I did too. I watched like five minutes of it, but it seemed promising. Because it's, it's, it's had like a Full House type idea of the show that Bojack Horseman was on. Yeah. And I actually found out about the show from Don Vincent. Shout out to Don Vincent. Shout out. Uh, okay, we're already talking about Bojack Horseman and uh, Full House. And you're here with sports. Maybe we should talk about sports. I don't know. I don't, you know, let's try something. Let's just... Not talk about sports? Let's just wing it. Let's just go off. Can we keep just... the name of the show sports? Yeah, I, I, I think just since... You know, I think we the, have Bill, two... the Bills had a bad loss yesterday, and I think we need to just take take some time to... To comprehend re it. Re-cooperate. Guys, I'm getting hate text saying the people love Home Improvement and Full House too. <laughs> Like, we made it. <laughs> well, Hold I on. Not know Hold the on. Response. Let's add another TV show into the category and see if anybody gets uh, gets even more mad. I think that Friends is probably the best show you can watch from that era that is on now. Are you high? Like, wait, wait what's the criteria? What do you like, mean? Like, just sitcoms in general from the 90s? Yeah. Okay, have you ever heard of Seinfeld? Seinfeld's terrible. No, anybody who... If I you, think Seinfeld's overrated, personally. To me, to me, watching Seinfeld makes me so bored that I almost get frustrated that I'm watching TV. Maybe that's when you go outside. Well, I Seinfeld do. Seinfeld has so <laughs> many, like, quotable moments and, like, moments that just not in TV history, but, like, pop culture in general. Seinfeld is literally a TV show 
About nothing. About that's the whole point. It's just it's like like I pretty much live Seinfeld's life. Why would I want to watch that? I don't know. Like it's literally watching white people live white people lives. <laughs> yeah. So. I yeah. Mean, see, like I, could... I mean, Friends is like the same thing, but <laughs> kind of unrelated. I've never seen you Friends. Know, you know ever. What? Like, not, not even a single episode of Friends. You're not missing a ton. You're missing Matthew Perry. Okay, so I, I can live with a ton. That. I can live he's, with he's that. An, if, if there's anybody who deserves a long-awaited Emmy, it's Matthew Perry. Uh, what would you do if you were watching... So it would be the 2015 Emmys. That's the next one. And they just gave Matthew Perry an award 11 years later for his work on Friends. They, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. That, that'd be pretty messed up, I think. In the category of best drama, and <laughs> best drama for friends. I yeah. think I th- I mean I think it would be. It would be interesting, to see, and I can only hope for it as a uh, number one fan of Matthew Perry. Understandable. But I don't <laughs> see it to likely happen. Oh, well, no, it's not going to happen. But we're talking hypotheticals here. Overrated TV show. Since you brought that up, that seventy show. I agree. Oh. My friends are obsessed with that '70s show. If you I've think seen that like show three is episodes. Overrated. You, I don't like. I don't like being on this show with you guys anymore. <laughs> We're just hating on friends in that '70s show right now. Like, and I guess you can't deal with it. There's another person who deserves an Emmy. Uh, Ashton Kutcher. I don't even know his last name, but his first name's Topher. Topher Grace. <laughs> Topher Grace. Topher Grace needs an Emmy. He deserves an Emmy for the name Topher. Like Fair enough. He, did just that he hung Solid with name. It. Or the or the fact. Well, his, that his has... real name is Christopher, though. I've yeah, but like before. everyone abbreviates it to Chris. That's true. He went the opposite row and took Topher. Can we, can we all? Thanks just for being agree a champion. That not only is his name Topher, he has two first names: a first name and then a first name for a last name, and it's unisex. I'm all about that first name life. He did it on a different. Wait, name. you've met a man with the name Grace? No, I'm saying that. Topher Grace is a unisex, like, complete name. Oh, I see, because Topher could be a girl's name. Well, maybe. no, Topher is a guy's name. Grace is a girl's name. I'm saying, like, That's he a has stretch. the best of both worlds. I don't believe worlds. you know what unisex means. <laughs> yeah, well, I do. I know, I know that, like, like Sam can be a unisex name because yeah. Samantha and yeah, but, Sam. But but Topher is, a, is a clearly a man's name. But what I'm saying is... Grace it was is a, a unisex woman. name. Okay, okay multi-sex name. <laughs> If we have to be so... You're listening to sports. We're talking about unisex names. Stop bringing it up. That aren't unisex names. Stop bringing it up. <laughs> I'm sorry. We won't, we won't talk about sports today. Um, oh, you want to talk about sports? Let's, let's talk about how you told me it was a good idea to start the Carolina Panthers defense and special teams. On not one, <laughs> but both of my fantasy leagues. Did I tell you to do, do it? You know how many you only total, for advice do you know how many total points they brought me in for combined? Negative, Negative 14. 14. Yeah. Negative 14. I mean, maybe you shouldn't be asking me for advice on my fantasy Maybe team. I shouldn't. Although, there's one point I'd like to make about my fantasy teams. Do tell. I was 3-0 and this week. I'm 2-2 two and two in my one league, 3-1 and one in my other, and I'm 4-0 and oh in one of them. So maybe I do know what I'm talking about. Yeah, maybe you do. That's why I asked you for advice the past couple weeks. Uh, you got to be your own man, though. Did you look at any of the free agent defenses to see how they did? Because, I mean, there might not have been yeah, better options. there were options. some pretty strong ones in there. There was? Yeah. And I can't remember what that's coming to mind, but one of them had, like, 25 points. Well, I think what it is with Carolina, what, what, is, what it is with Carolina is their defense just isn't as good this year because last year they had a really strong defensive line, especially with Greg Hardy, who had, I believe had 15 sacks last year. Then he decided to throw his girlfriend at a pile of guns in his house. So that sort of messed up his career for now anyway. A whole pile of guns. He doesn't have just one gun. And he didn't just throw her on one gun. He threw her on a pile of guns. I wonder if any of them misfired, like when she was landing on the pile. Probably not, because then he'd, he'd be in more trouble, I think. Like, I land, I jump on the couch and I land funny on the remote and, like, <laughs> the resolution has changed for a week and it's in Spanish. <laughs> like, there's no way she didn't jump on one of the guns and it's just, like, misfired a bullet, like, broke a mirror or something. Like, you know. I mean, it's possible. I don't know the exact details on the situation. The situation? Like, from the Jersey Shore? No, I wasn't referring to that situation. Okay. But that is a situation, so... 
Tiz. 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 Do All right, so back to Kyle Orton. Oh, so Kyle Orton, uh, I hear he's making a new album with the Foo Fighters. He is. Did you see the track listing for that? I, can't, uh, I never watched, I never look at uh, the track track <laughs> listings. <laughs> Just because I feel like, uh, what else? What are you gonna learn from? Uh, hey guys, I think Jeremy has something to say. What do you want to say, Jeremy? Um, something sports related. Um, I can't personally say that I ever actually saw Orton play in a game. So really, I don't know if I can really defend him and say that he's a good quarterback. Okay, I, I've seen Kyle Orton play many a time, like four times. <laughs> uh. He was with the Broncos. He was pretty good with the Broncos. Pretty solid. Uh, I believe he threw for 4,000 yards the one year. Uh, and then they drafted Tebow, I think, the next year. Come to, th- uh, come to think of it, I'm, I'm, don't quote me on that. I, I don't really think anyone's really quoting me anyway, but... I mean, it, just don't. I was actually at the event where Kyle Orton lost his title to Mark Henry. <laughs> like, it was crazy. <laughs> Like, good for Mark Henry for being around for as long as he was and finally winning the title, you know? Randy Orton doesn't need it. Ky- who, who? Oh, Kyle Orton. Yeah, yeah, Kyle Orton. He, I think, and actually Kyle Orton led uh, the Chicago Bears to the Super Bowl. Then uh, Rex Grossman took over some, some at some point there during that season. I don't know what you want to take from that just because the Bears at that time had a fantastic defense. But you know who else has a fantastic defense in my opinion? God, if you say the Panthers, the Buffalo Bills. Ooh. I mean, just look at the game yesterday. They only let up 37 yards rushing to the Texans, who have Arian Foster, who at one point was probably the best running back in the yeah. NFL, other than Adrian Peterson. Yeah, he was huge. Adrian Peterson, or not Adrian Peterson, Arian Foster What's had. What's Adrian Peterson doing these days? Uh, probably beating his kids. I don't think he's beating them anymore. He, yeah, he's probably not allowed near his kids anymore. Yeah, he's he's probably going to beat himself. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, Arian Foster only had nine yards yesterday and nine carries. So I don't I don't know if you want to say, okay, uh, he's coming off an injury and he's not good, or if you want to, if you want to say that Arian Foster just was shut down by the Bills' defense, which I think is fair to say because Ryan Fitzpatrick was actually the leading rusher. And Jeremy's over here wearing headphones covering his eyes. And it's sort of funny. Okay, um, so <laughs> sports. Uh. Uh, nothing to get you off topic, like not saying anything but doing something weird and no one else can see us. Were we on topic, though? Not no. really. I'll, ju- I'll tweet out what Jeremy looked like just now. It's worth took sharing with the class. Yeah, yeah, I took a picture. I want to see because I didn't know And you I can actually like. follow Evan at the van. 218 on Twitter. Indeed. You can also follow me at Kanyezus Cursed. K I R S T. And you can also follow Jeremy. What's yours, Jeremy? I don't know. Isn't it like Jay Swart, too? Probably, or Jay Swartz. Yeah. I think it's Jay Swartz. Well, you can follow both of those people. I'm sure they'd appreciate the following. You can also follow Mr. T at M R T. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. And while we're on the topic of Twitter, guess who's followed by Lil B on Twitter? Stop it. This guy. Lil B the bass god. Is it my friend Andy? He hates Lil B, but somehow still followed him. Lil B followed him? Yeah. Oh, nice. I don't know what he did, but he somehow got a follow from him. I actually just retweeted a uh, one of the many motivational tweets that Lil B had, and he followed me. You know Vern Troyer follows me? That's Kevin, a pretty random Kevin person Hart to follow. Started, for, uh, started following me. I don't know how you, I... I don't know how he reached the keyboard, but you know, he followed me. <laughs> don't get fired. Kevin Hart started oh, actually, following me before I followed him. So I actually just thought I'm of something that we could talk about. Him? Kevin the Hitman Hart. Yeah, sure. I actually thought of something we could talk about. Did you guys hear about uh, Bill Simmons at all recently in the news? Yeah, that was kind of screwed up. Bill Simmons on his podcast said that Roger Goodell was a liar and that it was effing BS. Obviously not like that. He said effing the actual Bill words. Simmons. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. And ESPN actually suspended him for three weeks for speaking his mind. Something I'd like to point out about this. 
Bill Simmons got suspended longer by ESPN than Ray Rice initially got suspended by the NFL for beating his wife. Oh. And to be honest with you, nothing Bill Simmons said was incorrect. No, not at all. I don't. I don't. I think Roger Goodell is a liar. If anything, ESPN should have, like, championed Bill for speaking saying, out. Yeah, and not just speaking out, but like saying what everyone's been thinking this entire time. You know. You know why they they did suspend him though. Why? We got a strobe light going right now. Um, they didn't suspend him because they want to. I am so distracted right now. They're. Uh, I came here to talk about Bill Simmons, so if you're not going to get on that, I'm probably just going to bail. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. Talk about Bill, Bill Simmons, Simmons already. Bill Simmons got suspended by ESPN because they want to protect their uh, relationship with the NFL and Roger Goodell. Yes. That's the reason. There's no other reason to suspend him because he... Bill Simmons, at the start of his podcast, actually says, attention, this show is for mature listeners or something like that. Yeah. I, I don't know exactly what he says. I've listened to the podcast thousands of times, so I don't know exactly. But... And it was censored when they actually did the podcast, so there really should be no issue. He's not yeah. saying anything that bad. I'm going to have to look this up right now, because I didn't hear anything about this. I mean, it, it wasn't huge news just because, I mean, ESPN's not going to report it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I did see it in the New York Times, and actually wrote an essay about it for my junior symposium class. Shout out to junior symposium. Yeah, definitely. We out here. <laughs> actually, I'm not even in that class, so never mind. Well, you'll be in it next semester, so... <laughs> It's not that bad. I can't. I don't know. I was hoping I could find like a recording of him like ranting, but for what it's worth, it is on SoundCloud somewhere. Jeremy said oh. he was going to look up the Bill Simmons thing, and I just watched him pull out his phone, type in Bill Simmons, and then just scroll up and down repeatedly over the same page. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much, he just googled it and just sort of looked at the headlines. Yeah, that, that's what most people do anyway, though. So. Shout out to Jeremy for at least putting in the effort. I, I mean, appreciate fine, it. Fine, I'll look it up. Jeez. What? Cheese and crust. <laughs> Should we go to a quick break, you think? Probably. All right. Wait, um, we were on? <laughs> Kyle Orton has a mustache? Yeah, that's why he's Dave Grohl. Dave Grohl has a full beard, though. Well, Kyle, Kyle Orton doesn't tea. have long hair. All right, gotta find a song to play. Do we, have uh, a, do we have any Foo Fighters? I feel like that's what I'm looking for right now. Someone gave me the best, the best. Just the kidding. Best do we have any music you. after 1990? Oh, we actually have. We got a, quite a bit of music now. We got a lot more Weezer and stuff. I don't see any Foo Fighters though. All right, we're gonna play some Weezer just because it's sort of like the official band. I hope we're playing Buddy Holly for the third time. <laughs> oh, say it ain't so. That's what we're playing. All right, we'll be back in a few minutes then. Nesquik, it's delicious, Ooh. it's healthy. <laughs> that was below Skechers, yeah. actually. And then there was that N64. Like, yeah. there was the cool, clear one that no one ever saw in stores, ever. Nope. And I, I don't think it had any machinery in it. <laughs> and then there was Space Camp. Like... Space Jam? No. Like, imagine, like, you just came in second place on, like, Double Dare or something. It's like, oh, cool. Like, mm. still, again, N64. And then, like, the guy who, like pushed you in, like, the giant, like, nose physical challenge thing. Mm-hmm. He, like, that that DB is getting a free trip to space camp. <laughs> like, why? Like, I feel like that's when the first time as a kid, you're like, wait, life sucks. <laughs> this, this guy gets a free trip to space camp. Did you want to go to space camp? Or did you want an N64? I kind of wanted the N64. Because I, 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 I was wanted. on athletic. But, like, this jabroni over here is going to space camp. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Also, so you, moon shoes. <laughs> why go to space camp when you can have moon shoes? Very true. And why, why watch... You just want a free ticket to go to the NASA space camp. <laughs> <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> moon like, shoes. Or do you remember, like, at the end of every show, it would be like, Nickelodeon. Um, located in Orlando, Florida. I tried to go there, and the guy, and like, it's closed now. You know how they would always show, like, that yeah. really cool building with, like, yeah. the slime fountain? It's closed now. 
Really? Yeah, they took all the paint off of it. It's just a regular, like, plain old building. Well, and, I like, think that fountain is still there, but nothing's coming out of it. As far as I know, though, Nickelodeon's not as big as it once was. It's always like, Hidden Temple, or Legends of the Hidden Temple. That was... Shot and performed in Nickelodeon Studios, <laughs> Orlando, Florida. That was, like, 2006, though, I think that happened. The guy told me they had shut it down a couple years earlier because... They moved all their animation to like New York and Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. Hmm. No, they had no reason. For I mean, they, they could have cornered the market there in Orlando, other than you know Disney. You know Disney. Yeah, that <laughs> whole conglomerate. Yeah. Oh man, remember how oh, cool, yeah. like how, how badly you wanted to be slimed when you were younger? Like, I oh was yeah. Just, like, I just want to be slimed. Like that's <laughs> it. Like I would just be fine with being on a show and getting slimed. Like now like, that figure you it out. Ruin your life. Yeah. Oh yeah. That'll. That would. That'd be a day. That'll ruin a Christmas. <laughs> the, like the show, figure it out. Like the big thing was like, just seeing celebrities on that show getting slimed who weren't really celebrities. They're just like Nick stars. Like Danny Amanda Bynes. Danny Tamborelli. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda Bynes when she was like thirteen and not hot yet. That's. That's probably why she ended up the way she did. <laughs> Just got slimed too much. Well, you know what sucks is that got, I like my whole life. I was like, Amanda Bynes is the one who did it. She's the one who beat past the, no, the stereotype no. of child stars, and then she came back and just bombed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. And now, now there's one that I can actually say is like the one who beat it, and it's Hillary Duff. Is she really doing that well though? Well, that's the thing. People who the, exist, Hillary. Duff. The way you beat it is by coming completely irrelevant. Because like that's true. Her and Raven from That's So Raven. That's So Raven. Like no one. Hears Corey in the anymore. house. Like no one even cared when they found out Raven was a lesbian. Like that wasn't even big yeah, news because was, she was that irrelevant. Huh. Like yeah. any other celebrity, it would have been a huge thing, you know. Like what is Corey from Corey in the House doing right now? I have I a friend who's convinced that him and Sean Kingston are the same person. <laughs> shout I out almost to, want to say I saw him in my a friend commercial. Ed. Did you know his his brother in real life was the the black kid from Zoe 101? Was he really? Yeah, that today was his I brother, learned. his older brother. Huh? Today I learned. The more you know. <laughs> whatever, whatever happened to Reading Rainbow? Is that like a thing still? Or what was that? Reading Rainbow. I. I, I it's probably not a thing. Kids don't read it these days. They go on their iPads and stuff. <laughs> Rainbows don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reading. I used to watch Reading Rainbow. I think that. I watched it once, but even like when I was like four and like books were cool back then, I still thought they were not cool. Like I was like, I want to play my Nintendo sixty four. I like <laughs> like I like reading, but like that's the worst. I was fortunate for a show. enough. To you have guys us. ever watch Wishbone with the dog? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That was way better than Reading Rainbow. You see, the thing with me was like. I didn't care about those. Like I, like I found out about Star Wars as an, at an early age. So I'd go to the library and rent all three movies and just watch all three of those on repeat and pretty much not do anything with the rest of my time. So you actually going to the library is a smart thing to do because you can. It's not just books. You can get movies there. You can get CDs there. And it's a good way to save money because hey, oh, well, you yeah. can put those CDs from the library right into your iTunes. Oh yeah. It's probably illegal, but. Hmm. We're talking money here on sports today. Yeah, we're, we're going to help you save some money today. Go to the library, get a library card. I don't think it, it doesn't cost anything to get a library When you card. go to Tops and you get the, the donuts from the bakery, remember, the box fits more than 12. That it does. <laughs> Can confirm. Well, that's a little bit more like stealing, I You feel. want those brand new J's? Hey, just, just go to your local drugstore and buy some tissue boxes. Take all the tissues out <laughs> or leave them in. You save money on Dr. Scholl's pads that way. <laughs> You see, like, I don't Struggle consider it Jordans. stealing. You know, if, if you're going to go into a store and, and the box fits 16 donuts, <laughs> that's their problem. If anything, you are telling them they need smaller boxes. And this, is, this advice is coming from the retail squad. Retail yeah, squad. We all work retail. We know, like, not going to mention where, but. Yeah. What up, cashier fam? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, oops. oh, if that same donut box can fit a ham too, like just, <laughs> just go for it. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. or you know, the other thing is, you want some, you want a bag of muffins. Well, you put them in the bag. It's not see through. It's a paper bag. <laughs> you come up to self checkout. How are they gonna know the difference between three donuts and one? Ooh, another um, money saving tip. If you are at the store, <laughs> and you want a lobster, 
if you just take it yourself, it's like they're free <laughs> because they can't charge you for the convenience of making sure the lobster doesn't like crawl around all over the place. Like if you're okay taking a live lobster home and getting it yourself, then yeah, that's free. I love how we call these money-saving tips, but they're actually sort of shoplifting tips, pretty much. Well, well, what about this, okay? <laughs> the other day, I went to Tops. I was in the bulk candy section, and I got a bag of, like, the small Hershey's candy bars, you know? Yeah. And I put it on the scale, and the scale, for some reason, started out as a negative amount. And then I put it on the scale... So, first of all, my pound bag of chocolates only came up as, like, 0.3 pounds. And then I also typed in the code for gummy worms because they're cheaper by the pound and ended up getting, like, what should have been $6 chocolate for, like, $2. Now, I, is I that hope the feds aren't listening. Or you gotta that... lift the bag. Like you gotta hold it up. Just oh yeah. It. Well, well, this is the thing though. Is like, is it really stealing or is it like, uh, listen, tops, your 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 way of doing things are very flawed. I feel like it is stealing. This is 2014. What's but this they, whole they should honor change the system? system. They should change that system though. Yeah. Because like people do that all the time, you know. Yeah. And it's not like they're going to weigh it up front. They should weigh it up front, What's though. stopping me from walking into Walmarts with a pair of scissors, cutting the little thing off the TV so it doesn't make the sensors go off, putting it in a cart, and just walking out? Your it conscience. happens. Your conscience. That's I mean, I would never steal a TV. That's ridiculous. You but wouldn't steal a car. <laughs> I would pirate music, though. <laughs> well, that, that's, a a that's a whole different story. That's a whole different story. And I, personally, I think... I don't like copyright laws very much. You know why? Because our last episode of sports got taken off of SoundCloud Ooh, for a are copyright we about, are violation. We about to, are we about to trash talk SoundCloud? Let's do it. Let's. I want to trash talk war. SoundCloud. Let's trash start a talk war. SoundCloud. Raw is war. All Raw right, is SoundCloud. Jericho. <laughs> Here's what I want to say to you, SoundCloud. The Y2K bug happened. I'm, I'm not Y2K liking you right bug. now, SoundCloud. <laughs> you know why? You took down our episode for what should have been a royalty-free song. And you very well could take down this next episode if I use the same song again, which I probably won't now. Yeah, SoundCloud. You jerks. We're coming after you, I SoundCloud. I feel like We're after going to the, YouTube whole, uh, the whole Jennifer SoundCloud? Lawrence, like, iCloud nude leak thing going down, like, we should, <laughs> we should probably just, like, just abandon anything with the with word cloud. cloud in it. Yeah, I think we're going to switch to YouTube pretty much just, just because, one, it doesn't give us a limit, so we can put whatever we want on there. And two, well, SoundCloud, they're jerks about copyright, pretty much. You want to talk about stupid clouds? What's up with those damn Nimbus clouds out there? Always like, oh, we're just going to, just it's a sunny day, we're just going to hang here for a little bit, and then like by 5 o'clock it's like, oh, just kidding, here's some rain. <laughs> That's called weather. That, that happens. We're talking weather here on sports. I'm chewing we're, on we're, we're changing the We're changing the name of sports to actually, it's going to be called weather. Hey, we're you want some gonna... more money saving tips? If you're hungry but don't have food, just chew on a pen cap. That's what I'm doing. That's what he is doing. I can see him right now. He's holding it in his hand and he's chewing on it again. <laughs> he has it almost entirely in his mouth. All right, so I'm we're going to. in my mouth now. <laughs> Hey, if you guys were starting a Red Hot Chili Peppers themed restaurant, what would you name it? Chili's? Good answer. Uh, what type of food are we serving? Well, the answer we were looking for here was Stady Yum Arcady Yum. <laughs> solid, uh, solid. I would go with Californication. Is the name of the restaurant? Yep. Yeah. I would go with... Where we have all of your favorite California cuisines. By the way, we're a restaurant. Oh, okay. Clothing Ooh. store. Blood sugar socks magic. I'm liking that one. Pretty good. Right. I'm with Give you on away. that one. <laughs> Give it away with great deals. <laughs> oh. Under the bridge, you'll find some excellent deals. Mm. At you this restaurant, I bet they serve mother's milk. <laughs> 
Now let's do Foo Fighters songs as Ooh, business names. I got one more for the closing the clothing one. Let's hear it. They got some freaky stylies. Ooh. Olay. All right, so Foo Fighters are next? Foo Fighters, yeah, let's go Foo Fighters. It's times like these where we know that we need to go to the Foo Fighters. Is someone references. getting a vest, a vest, a vest, a <laughs> vest from you? Monkey Wrench, hardware store. Oh, okay. This is delightful. <laughs> Pretender, toy store. <laughs> You'll get the best, the best, the best <laughs> of our prices. <laughs> uh... I am stumped on Foo Fighters right now. I can't think of any Foo Fighters songs. At Monkey Wrench Hardware, do they sell ropes? <laughs> Rope is a song by the Foo Fighters. Tis. One of these days I'll get down there and shop some more. <laughs> um, there goes my hero. Superhero Supply Store. <laughs> oh. Man, it's taking me way too ever long to think of a reference. Um, what's another, what's another group we could come up with some names after? <laughs> we just had this weird, awkward silence. I just think it's hilarious. Hey, hey, Connor, can you step out of the room for a second? Why? Just, Jeremy, I'm kind, I'm kind of offended that he laughed more at the awkward silence than he did at our joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Connor, you can come back in. Okay, I'm, I was always back in the room. No, you weren't. Um, why right. don't we, well, we could do, uh, let's do Weezer songs as names for business. Oh, names. say it ain't so. I had about, not, not store names, but like 20 minutes of good back to the shack related puns the other day. <laughs> I had back to the shack. Back to the Shaquille O'Neal. Back heel to the Shaquille O'Neal. Back to the Shrek. I had... Oh, there is there are some good ones. You know what? When I hear Back to the Shack, it's someone, someone reminds me of? What? Like a Radio Shack commercial. Why hasn't Radio Shack picked up on this? Here's a problem. Why has Circuit City not survived the 2010s, but somehow Radio Shack has? It doesn't make any sense, because Circuit did, City had a lot more. How did Radio Shack survive... Like, how did Radio Shack get out of the 2000s? How did they get out of the 90s? Yeah, since, like, who buys radio equipment anymore? Radio? That's kind of a dead medium. Well, as You're listening to sports on Hawk Radio. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, we're online radio. Oh, good. Yeah, we're We also so do a podcast, radio. so... Podcast. We're somewhat with the times. We're basically like the Mark Maron of Hilbert. Oh, how about, how about, uh... We're the Bill Simmons of Hilbert. We're the Scott back, Hockerman. Back, back to the Shack Surf Shop. That sounds like a business name. Yeah. Yeah, but they had enough songs about surfing. If you could do Surf... Uh, what, what's the name of that song? Surf Wax... Buddy surf Holly wax Music Store. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Which is weird, because he doesn't say Wax or America anywhere in that song. Does he say Surf? You take your car to work, I'll take my board... Yeah, he says I'm going surfing. I thought he said it in the main part, but he doesn't. Well, I mean, we 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 got to hear your beautiful voice, so right? that's all that matters. What up, girls? Ooh, and by girls, I mean my girlfriend. Yeah. What's up? Hey, we should hear the rap you wrote for your uh, hip hop history song. Okay, uh, um, class. Hip-hop if you want to hand me my bag, I could actually I can actually do this rap on air for you guys. Yeah, we'll do this on air. And I'm I'm gonna on do this. Air. Con air. That's sort of my name. Conair on air. Yeah. Oh, that happened. Conair air products. Okay, so now remember, this is Connor to. Conair starring Nicholas Cage. This is t- to uh, the beat of Versace. Nicholas Cage. <laughs> Nicholas Cage starring Conair Curse. I'm doing this for a class tomorrow, actually. Um, where is it? I got like 15 pages of Bill's notes. Then I have hip hop notes here. All right, I'll try to flow on this. I, I, it's gonna be hard without the beat. So, get ready here. Versace, Versace, education is the only way out of poverty. Prison industrial complex rules the economy. All the stress got my mind under pressure. If you do not know Kana by now, here's a refresher. Chill, chill, chill. Born in the below, drop knowledge just like I'm a professor. There's more to this life, my homie, than stacking that cheddar. (laughs) 
If you're going hungry, there's cheese, cheese here to feed you. Ooh. Educate in your mind. Read more than Wikipedia. Ooh. I am done. I don't want to read this entire rap. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. All right, now I feel like no someone doubt, else. No doubt. I feel that like someone sick. else needs to drop a freestyle. Somebody else has to drop a freestyle. Ted Barr. Uh, Ted Barr's in the building. Ted Barr is pretty inappropriate. Ted Barr is a caricature <laughs> I have. <laughs> and um. Yeah, maybe don't do Ted Barr. I don't know if I can, like, do his character without making references to murder or rape. So. <laughs> okay. Calm down there, buddy. Oh, boy. Did the Rolling Stones have a song? Oh, about? speaking of murder and stuff like that. Murder! It's just a shot away. I think this is it's a good point a where we can uh, talk about Odd Future. Because what? Odd Honestly, Future songs as business names. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yonkers. Everything New York has to offer. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> tamales. <laughs> Getting your best tamales here at Tamales. Tamales. My tamale is salty. Why are you so salty? <laughs> uh, tamale is on. Sandwiches. Uh, sandwiches. Did you did you listen to that censored version of sandwiches? I, no, I, I, did, I did not check that out. Oh, it's hilarious because they, they replace almost every word. It's hilarious. Did you ever see the version of Rusty he did on Letterman? No, I don't think so. What is your favorite Odd Future song, by the way? Other uh, than other probably, than I uh, did just bought a Bugatti, I'm happy. Probably Rusty. I, I, I'm, I'm a fan I'm, of Bastard. I like Goldie. No, he said it in reference to an album title. So you can't don't, censor us. Don't FCC. get sassy with us. <laughs> I really hope that the podcast listeners pick up on that. I, I tried to I tried to get to this microphone. But uh, that's pretty good with sound, so I made Okay. It. Your opinion. The best out of future uh, projects. Go. In terms of albums? or Yeah, yeah. Albums, mixtapes, that type of stuff. Uh, Wolf's pretty strong. Um, I agree with Jeremy. Bastard's up there. Um, Goblin. Nah, not... Goblin you don't so like much. Goblin? I did not. I like Goblin that, more that than Wolf. That was a little too dark for me. It, That's it was why I liked dark. it. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy's into the dark forms of hip hop. Yeah, Jeremy's into some weird uh, stuff. What about Doris? Where, where are you? Sacrifice. Do you like you. Doris? I no, because I'm not really. I, I like Earl's first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sacrifice you. That wasn't creepy. <laughs> I like I'm Earl's. Take you out to the woods and sacrifice you like a goat. <laughs> I'm gonna gut you like a pig. Okay, okay. You don't like Doris though? No, I liked Earl's first album a lot better. Um, er Earl is pretty good. Or the the album Earl. Well, the yeah. mixtape Earl. Doris, it was fine, but like a little monotone. I'm not used to his like style of rap where he just does this and then it becomes like a long sequence of words and thoughts and better just never completely ties it up really until the end of the song. Yeah. I mean, he he's he actually says some pretty deep stuff on there, though. With uh, no, he's a very deep guy, but just just not interesting to you, sort of. It's more, it really, it's more spoken word than his rap to me, his stuff. And I actually really do enjoy. I just bought a Bugatti. I'm happy. Oh yeah, all the stuff he did under that persona was pretty hilarious. Yeah, we can't actually see that persona on air, but lo just look up. I just bought a Bugatti. I'm happy. It's a great song about being happy after you buy a Bugatti. And shooting people with llamas. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we finally talked about Odd, Odd Future. We were actually leading up to this the entire yeah, show. Yeah, Connor was pretty, pretty, pretty adamant that we got around to that at some point. We were gonna like try to tie it back into sports, but we haven't been talking about sports for the last <laughs> what the, hell the last sports? twenty minutes, probably. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the Monday night game. Yeah, the Patriots versus Chiefs. Tom Brady versus Alex Smith. Where do you think they're going with uh, Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins leading up to Hell in a Cell? You know, I think it's going to be an okay game. I think uh, there's going to be some close lines and stuff. Close lines and stuff, yeah. Yeah. Why do I feel like you're talking about football and I'm talking about wrestling? Do they really do a close lines of football? Are we both talking about wrestling or are we talking about football? Uh, it's... <laughs> Okay, listeners, if you thought last week had a weird episode, this is officially the strangest episode of sports yet. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Uh. <laughs> yep, I'm out. All right, we're going to go to a quick break. We're going to play some... some this whole show's been breaks. My first, been. Show, my first show, we only did two songs, and so far we've done like four. We're in an hour into this. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, there's no good music on this. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna play some Jimi Hendrix. Some Are you still on air? <laughs> yeah, we're still on air. So today's episode, we've just kind of been off the rails, and we've decided since really there's no sports news, and since neither of us watched the Bills game, we're just con uh, gonna continue just kind of going off the rails. And we're just gonna see what comes to mind. So Evan, you're a Blue Jackets fan. Yes. What's it. up with that? I enjoy the Blue Jackets. Um, it started when my sister lived in Columbus for a couple of years, and they kind of sucked back then. Just like they sucked, are they good like, now? Yeah, they're they, they're not great, but they're okay. Um. When I got into them, they had only played four playoff games. They were swept by the Red Wings, and that was their only playoff history. Now they have a goaltender that they picked up from the Flyers named Sergei Bobrovsky. Solid name. I he, like it. He was a good old American name. He was their backup goaltender when the Blue Jackets picked them up, and they started him, and turns out he was this great goaltender. I think the first year he was with them, he won the Vesna Trophy. He got the and V. He got the V. And then the next year, they went to the playoffs. They made it to the <laughs> second round. I think they were shut down by the Penguins. I, I think they held their own, though. I don't think they got swept out again. I think they won two or three. <laughs> and then that was, that was last year. We'll see where it goes from now on. We have some such strange music on here. We got like like a lot of disco stuff. We have a lot of village people on our system. I'm almost starting to think you weren't interested in hearing about the Blue Jackets at all. No, I actually was. It just like I was looking through the music oh, yeah? just in case we go to another Repeat break. Repeat one thing he said. Okay, so the Blue Jackets were not very good for quite a while. Okay. They got Sergei Bobrovsky. I just butchered that name. Bobrovsky, poet and a prophet. Bobrovsky. <laughs> <laughs> go on. And then they went to the playoffs, and they did pretty good. They got swept by the Red Wings one year, but then the next year they won two out of three. Is that what you said, pretty much? I don't know where you pulled the two out of three thing from, but yeah, that was sort of it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the sequence of time and events was a little off, but... I mean, I, I sort of had it. All right, best Sabres goalie of all time, go. Dominic Hasek. Hasek. Wrong, it's Patrick Lillian. Did he play for the Sabres? Yeah. He was Wasn't he guy. not good? What? Huh? Yeah, he sucked. He was terrible. So why is... Did that was he as bad as Tebow? Why not? Tebow's the greatest quarterback of all time. I'm talking know. I'm talking Tebow, the goalie who <laughs> played for for Buffalo Sabres for like a day. Tim Tebow. Oh, Vince? Remember? Yeah, Tebow. He was like backup before Laleem was. No, I'm talking about... Uh, you know how this past season we had like 40 goalies? Yeah. Do you remember Vince, the equipment manager, who they oh, suited yeah. up to play? Yeah. He didn't do fast Who's the back. current goalie on the Sabres right now? I couldn't tell you. Um, do we still have that Enroth guy? Yeah. Enroth, Enroth's yeah, probably going to start. Don't we have Nuva Ring or something, too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nuva, who is back up for the Capitals, and um, uh, Llewellyn, or however you pronounce his name. Lewin and Lewin and then. <laughs> Guys, I'm out of Pepsi. I have water. Oh, big gulp, babe. Eh? Eh? Well, see you later. Well, Gordy. That was a Dumb and Dumber reference, if anybody got it. I haven't, I'm going to be honest with you. I've not seen that movie since I was, since I was a since I've, I was I've never one. seen that movie. Okay, well. It's one know, of the greatest. You should probably rewatch it. Is it. You think it's worth watching? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was Jeremy for yes. Everybody go. For, uh, best... Impression of Elmo? That's yeah. me, Elmo! Do yours, I know you got one. I love Elmo this much. I love Elmo this much. Hooray! Yeah. <laughs> Hello, 
I am Elmo. <laughs> oh, uh, boy, that just best, went weird. Best impression <laughs> of Kermit the Frog. It's me, Ray Romano. <laughs> okay, <that was> <laughs> I'm Kermit the Frog slash Ray Romano. <laughs> it's the same person to me. It is. Kermit the Frog here. Hey, Ray Romano here. <laughs> Hello, I'm Kermit the Frog. Hi, this is Old Dirty Bastard, and you're listening to Sports with Connor and Jeremy. You have dialed movie phone. Oh, I actually got to add you to our list of uh, hosts. I haven't done that yet. No, yeah, okay. So I've been doing this in vain for like an hour now? No, like I mean, like on our official pages and stuff. Hey, okay. We actually we we called you a fan last week. Did you? Yeah, we shouted you out. We said Evan James, fan of the show, <laughs> also former guest. Now now you're just the third co-host. Guys, if you want to ha- have a career in radio, all you have to do is be a fan of the show. Yeah, you, we we will take anyone on the show as a guest. Yeah, anyone. But, Anyone, but only from, Evan James, super fan of the show, got the from, opportunity to be on here. We'll go from like Charlie Sheen to Doug Marone, coach of Buffalo Bills. I want Mr. T on the show. Mr. T is an option. Dan Carpenter Stone is Steve number Austin. one. Dan WWE Carpenter. Hall of Famer, Mr. T. Dan Carpenter yes. is top of my list. Sting, not from wrestling, but the singer of <laughs> the, the Police. police. The police. <sighs> Did you know? Sting, the wrestler, has the original trademark on the name Sting. So when Sting, the bass player, tried to copyright the name Sting, he couldn't. But wow. Sting, the wrestler, was a fan of the police's music and has a legal setup where Sting, the bass player, only has to pay him $1 a year to use the name. And they can wow. both live in harmony. You see, I would have went full-blown Delta Bravo on the situation <laughs> and just like... Been like, no, you can't use the name. <laughs> You're now stung. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about the show Punked? <laughs> Remember when that was a thing? Yeah. I used to enjoy it, sort of. I mean, they brought it back for what, like a day? Really? Remember, they did just, but uh, it was like, I don't even know. Who was the host? Know. Was it still Ashton Kutcher? I think it was Ashton Kutcher. And uh, Justin Bieber was on it, and they did uh, some other stuff. Not on the Justin Bieber train. Remember when they tried to punk Goldberg? They had, like, the whole premise of the prank was that Goldberg was going to be leaving a biker bar, and they had, like, all these bikes set up, and, like, they were they were all, like, prop bikes. Like, they had parts removed and everything. Uh-huh. They were going to knock down one and was going to set off a domino effect that knocked down Goldberg's bike. And then, under Sam Blake Goldberg was going to be mad, et cetera, et cetera. They misplaced his bike, like, an inch too far, so they knocked down the chain of bikes, but Goldberg's bike was left intact. It's like, you can't punk Goldberg. <laughs> Who's next? Ashton, you're next. Did he ever get punked? Ashton Kutcher? I think he show? did do an episode where they punked him. I'm going to um, look it up. He married Demi Moore, so I feel like that's enough. That's enough <laughs> punk for one life. <coughs> Literally, this is what I typed in. Ashton Kutcher gets punked. And you're listening to sports. Mm, I don't see. There's one on you that says Christian Bale punks Ashton Kutcher, and then it says goes berserk. It's clearly like a five-year-old with a phone, though. No, that's Ashton Kutcher. Okay, well, Ashton Kutcher (laughs) looks like a child. He does. Hey, I don't know if you guys realize, but we're we're doing a radio show right now. I don't like as 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 interesting as this YouTube clip is to watch. It's not really. Um, we are doing <laughs> a radio show, and it's, it's cool, guys. I'll just lead the conversation. Um, <laughs> All right, should okay. we go on another break real quick? No, we've had too many <laughs> breaks. That's true. This show has been more Weezer okay, songs listen, than it has ready? been material. All right, ready? All of us. We're going to freestyle rap once. All right. No, Starting with Evan. Let's start a, a basis for rules. Don't get fired. We probably can't get fired. But let's not get fired. All right, Evan, you go first. Um... 
Yeah, so here it goes. Should I throw it on a beat? Do, 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 do. That's all I had. I'm doing my radio show. I got my Aquafina. Sure. I look over at Jeremy. He's the meanest. <laughs> oh! Oh! Mic drop. In all honesty, these mics look very expensive. I don't. You don't drop them. <laughs> I don't. I would not be reckless with these microphones. All right. Right. All uh, right. Come on, Ted Bar. Uh, oh, I'm going Ted Bar right now. No, you can do. You can just do Jeremy. How, what is the correct way to pronounce Jeremy? Is it Jeremy or Jeremy? Jeremy. I always say Jeremy. Yeah, everybody does. Um, Would you, do you prefer Jeremy? Well, you're saying it kind of weird, but Jeremy. It's Jeremy. Jeremy. Yeah. Jeremy. Jeremy. Yeah. Jer. You got it right. Um. <laughs> here we go. Uh. Uh. I'm sitting in here what? doing the radio. Okay. You can't check this. Burr. You can't check this flow. Yeah. I'm flying around. Okay. All around the room. Sure. Choo. Yo, I just messed you fools up. You better grab the broom. Oh. You are so dirty, and I am dirtier. I'm like mud, and you're just like Nerdier. princess. I'm so dirty. I should take a bath. I'm so dirty. Took a bath with my cat. I don't know. Something, something, something. Number three. Uh, uh. Back to the Future. Did not deserve a third movie. <laughs> what? Uh, uh. Burr! You want to hear a rap about being dirty? I'll give you a rap about being 30. It's really terrible. I have to pay all these taxes. And when I take a shower, I always have to shave my backses. Yeah, uh. <laughs> Stu a little did not deserve three movies. <laughs> <laughs> or an animated one, which I think was the third. Rugrats Go to Paris was okay, but the last one where they met the wild thorn bears was just a money grab for both parties involved. Oh! <laughs> uh, uh, I'm about to give a shout out. No, I ain't. Three some of the triceratops. I go hard in the paint. was overrated. I go hard in the paint. Leave you stankin'. What you thinking? Okay, that sounds kind of gross. <laughs> I think someone's trying to use the printer in here. Like, don't they know we're doing something? Yeah, what if they walk in? Well, I, th I think the door's locked, so they can't come in. <laughs> Good. <Fair enough. laughs> It'd be kind of funny if they just came walked in. Uh, uh, you want to hear my life story? Well, that sucks. I make lots of money. Yeah, I got those bucks. <laughs> Driving up in Jeremy, my you owe everyone scene. a Tom Club money. That's true. You owe me five dollars. I'm rolling up in my limousine, tuxedo so fresh and so clean. I finished that one for you. Yep. Ain't nobody dope as me. I'm just so fresh, so the bigger clean. person who exists. Andre three thousand or Big Boy. Big Boy. Wait, what? 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 <laughs> what? 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 Correct answer is Killer Walk Mike. Into the club, like what up? I got a <laughs> Killer Mike. Firm handshake. <laughs> Killer Mike is actually pretty good. You ever listen to him? Yeah. He's he's solid. I was in those Outcasts. Songs he keeps too. the beat running like Randy Moss. He he okay. has he's got <laughs> that food was in his teeth. He's got food in his teeth, but he never floss. Okay. He's got no cavities, so why are you mad at me? I don't know, because I'm not Killer Mike. These are, these are just uh, the answers I don't uh, have. I'm Ted Barr, and I'm a famous rapper. My wife tried to leave me, so I started to stab her. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, Ray Rice. That's With okay. a pencil, lead wait, in Wait a fuse. minute. Shooting up her veins. Yeah, she's dead. Okay. This is not okay at all. Yeah, that's not okay. <laughs> we got we got Jeremy over here. I came here to talk about Weezer. Let's talk about Weezer. I swear to God, if you go to another break, I'm gonna lose it. Okay, we're gonna go to a break <laughs> right now. We're gonna play some James Brown. It's called a uh, Get Up Off of That Thing.
Why are we going to another break already? I'm joking. We're not going to a break. You better be joking. Am I not allowed to make a joke? You no. You trying to fight? We've been here for five hours now. <laughs> recording. Uh, and this is just ridiculous. We're, we're at one hour and one minute recording. Yeah, okay. If you say so. <laughs> it's not me saying so. It's my audio recorder I'm saying so. I'm using my nose to text. Okay, favorite WNBA teams go. <laughs> um, The Los Angeles Sparks? Is that, is that a team? Phoenix Mercury? Mercury? I think so. I think, th- I think that's a team. Favorite XFL team? Go. Uh, the Memphis Maniacs. That team from Orlando? Uh, the Vegas team. I also <laughs> like Orlando. The New Jersey Hitmen. Was that a, t- a team name? Yeah. For real? Yeah. That's, that's pretty edgy. Yeah. That's three edgy for me. <laughs> three edgy five me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Hey, uh, disappeared. Just like I'm showing Evan a funny picture right now. Sorry you guys can't be included in the oh, show. Oh, I don't get to see it? <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny and no one will ever know what the picture was. <laughs> Shout out to Brandon Kozlowski on Instagram for one of the funniest pictures I've ever seen. Well, if he just gets a sudden influx of followers. <laughs> I highly doubt it. There's probably Congratulations, one. Brandon. You just got the sports ball. If anybody's listening to this, text one of us and tell us or tweet at us and we'll know if anybody's actually following my phone died so just tweet me yeah yeah okay all right oj innocent or guilty innocent he's guilty innocent Uh, the glove didn't fit yeah right that's what I'm saying. The glove didn't fit. Why would you get into a huge car chase with police going like 40 miles an hour? Uh, because he could. A... He know. knew he was going to be on trial for something he was not guilty of, by the way. You... And he just wanted to have some fun before he... He thinks so. ...had to like lose months of his life to doing a court case. Didn't he uh, write a book confessing? To... No, that was no. if he did it. Yeah, if he did it. That, that was a bad idea. I, know, I, think, I think OJ, I think he did. I think OJ. OJ. Okay, is what about the best Bills player to ever play ever? Uh, JP Lossman? Fair enough. Have you never heard of James Hardy? <laughs> Have you never heard of Trent Edwards? The guy from Nine Inch Nails? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um, I don't like having Evan on the show, he's a bad influence. He gets a he gets a sway up to, off topic, I think, but it's it's all Gucci. It's all. Should Gucci. I just go play in traffic or something? Yeah. Okay. But you should do that anyway. Okay. If you take anything away from the show today, it's to ways to save money, get some struggle Jordans for sure. Do that, and play in traffic. Yeah, just tweet us pictures of your sports brand struggle Jordans. Okay, Jeremy's leaving. Um, I don't know what he's doing. It's just me and Evan here. All right. So, Evan. Um, do you want to just talk bad about Jeremy until he comes back? Yeah. Let's right. talk bad about Jeremy. Like, honestly, who names their kid after a Pearl Jam song? Especially that Pearl Jam yeah, song. Yeah, that, oh, that, that kid shot himself. Did he in the song? In class. Today. Really? Yeah. Did you ever see the video? Like, that kid, no. like, goes in front of a class and he just shoots himself. That's messed up. Yeah, that's the actual thing that happened. And you wrote a song about it. Mother didn't give attention. Yeah, that same right? one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Pearl Jam. I know you're a big fan of Pearl Jam. I, I, I tangle. My favorite Pearl Jam song is probably Daughter. Is it? Don't call me daughter. You know, that's from my favorite album by them, Versus, but I don't know if that... The one with the sheep on it, right? Yeah, the, I don't know if that is song... Is that a goat? Would, one of them. I don't know if Same that thing. song would even rank in my top 20 songs by them. Really? Yeah, I don't know. What's your favorite Pearl Jam song? Oof. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> This is the second time you've done this on the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Corduroy is up there. I don't even think I know that one. Sad is a, sad is a good one. Don't know that one. Um, 
I have Pearl Jam's greatest hits. That's do the saying. Evolution. Corduroy and Do the Evolution are both on disc one. So if you're telling me you've never heard of those, you haven't listened to it enough. On the greatest hits. Yeah. I don't think I have the entire greatest hits on my iTunes. Do you just have disc two? I think I just have. I have like three songs from it, honestly. Oh, okay. I need to get more into Pearl Jam, I think. So I like so, Pearl Jam. So you told me you had a greatest hits album, and then you said you had three songs. This isn't even a matter of the band. This is just you being a liar. <laughs> I can't like wait until Jeremy comes back so we can talk bad about you. Well, <laughs> I feel like this is an interrogation, though. A little bit. Are you questioning my iTunes? How's your fantasy team doing? Pretty good. I was 3 0 this week. <laughs> <laughs> How do you balance work and family? What? How do you balance work and family? I don't know. Okay. How good. does anyone? That's the question we're trying to get to here. That's what sports is all about today. How do you balance work and family? I feel like this is Oprah. Say where I balance my drugs on a scale. Uh, just kidding. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Not a great joke. You know, we play around here a lot at sports. But yeah. Yeah. If we record a theme song for sports right now, can we use it every single week? Do you guys want to just make a quick jingle up? You can. Well, you can take it out of the out of the sound file for this, and then just we can play at the beginning of every show, right? Yeah, I can do that. All right. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna do a jingle live on sports. All right. This is the first time you guys are gonna be hearing Wait, our theme song. Let's I guess. Desi- let's designate parts so we don't like. All right, you're going to be the falsetto singer, Evan. Because okay. I, I trust your falsetto skills because of your love of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I, okay, fair enough. Uh, J- Jeremy. Uh, I think I should have, like, the women's backup vocals. Okay, so I, I got lead? Oh. Sports. It's the show where we talk about sports. Sports, 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 sports. Sports, 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 sports. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah! Or it's maybe like, we could do something like, like. Guys, I'm really proud of everything that just happened in the past thirty. We seconds. do like we could do something <laughs> like like how do we want it to sound? Do we want it to have a grunge feel? Like I can do a grunge yeah. feel. Like, yeah. Sports. Yeah, yeah. Sports. Oh yeah. <laughs> Should we have like a nice techno sound like boom did it boom did boom did it sports 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 Sports! Sports is where it's at. Uh, I feel like we've already done... Death, death metal? <laughs> Sports! Blood! Sports! Blood! Sports! Blood. <laughs> like some R&B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sports. Yeah. <laughs> Shouty. Jason Derulo. Jason Derulo. <laughs> like an Elton You've been John listening to Jason Derulo. <laughs> what? I don't know. Well, I have? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have been? Yeah, this is the new name of the show. Jason oh. Derulo. Jason Derulo with Jeremy <laughs> Connor and Evan. Jason Derulo. <laughs> you actually have a really nice falsetto. And we just did a yeah, little head check there. Oh, both. <laughs> both of both you guys have your falsetto yeah, game. Damn right, it's both of us. On point. Let's talk, let's talk about, let's talk about Little B and Riff Raff right now. All right. I don't want to talk about either of those people. <laughs> All right, let's not talk about them. Okay, fine. Let's talk about, um... <laughs> How old were you guys? How old am I? He said, how old were we? 
<laughs> when? Just how old were you? When? I don't know. How old were you? Where were you when it happened? How old were you guys? Uh, nine. Where, where, where were you when it happened? The first time or the second time? Saskatchewan. <laughs> Third. What? what? <laughs> Can we get canceled? <laughs> this is literally the worst <laughs> episode of any show ever, I think. But also the best at the same time. We, there's no way we're not getting canceled. I don't think we can get canceled. You're damn right we can't. We're pretty much the Bill Simmons. I bet you... We're untouchable. I bet you I can get us canceled by saying one sentence. <laughs> You're probably right, so don't say it. Don't do it. Please Evan's don't do it. Evan's looking at me like he wants me to say it. Hang on. Turn off all the microphones real quick. Okay, we'll play some James Brown. And he's no, can you say, say the sentence in five seconds we just turn off the microphones real quick? All right, you don't say it until I turn them off. Okay. They're off. And guess who's back? It's sports. <laughs> okay. Shout out to anyone who's listening to this live right now. Shout out to anyone who started listening to it and is still there. Yeah, you are our true fans. We love you. Or you died. You died with your computer on. Probably. Probably. Man. Well, see, we actually came into the show with absolutely no plan at all. Yeah, we really need to plan from now on. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Usually the plan is just to talk about the Bills for at least, like, a good 45 minutes at least. But really, since 66.7% since of us did not actually see the Bills game yesterday, <laughs> there's not a whole lot you can talk about the Bills game. I mean, that counts. Oh, shout out to that one kid today that we saw when we were like, oh, I don't know what we're going to talk about. We didn't see the Bills game. And this was before we knew whether or not Jeremy had seen it. And that one kid's like, just say it sucked. Like, all right, bud, thanks. Like, we're definitely going to fill an hour and a half by <laughs> saying like, oh, yeah, did you guys see the Bills game yesterday? It sucked. Like, wow, you're really something else. Like, <laughs> That's a good transition. Watch, he's listening now, and now you're, he's just going to murk all of us. You're going to get murked. Your glossary game is on point. Great use of synonyms. <laughs> what else are we going to say for the other hour, 29 minutes, and 29 seconds? Like, I oh, we were just talking oh, about random dumb. stuff, you know? It's stupid. It sucked. Wow, that kid's like a real, like, genius. <laughs> Alright, we probably shouldn't rip on people like this. We didn't mention any names. I honestly don't even remember who said that, so it's all good. It was probably you. Probably. Probably. Oh, one of my coworkers yesterday during the game said he was going to drink bleach because of the result. Uh, that kid probably needs to find something better to do with his time. Probably. I guess he was, like, swearing and stuff in the aisles. Well, of course he was. Yeah. You were good. You were good sporting goods store, though, so that's probably going to happen. It's acceptable. With the whole football mentality. Well, we're on a show about sports. Yeah, I know. Or are we really about sports? Who knows? Right now, we're definitely not about sports. I don't think we've been about sports since the show ended last week. Yeah, I mean, we talked about Kyle Orton for a couple minutes, but then we also talked about Kyle Orton being in the WWE and being Dave Grohl. As so, far as I know, Kyle Orton and Randy Orton are the same person. As far as I know, Kyle Orton is a person who exists, and that is all. You guys been watching any of the Sabres preseason stuff? Nope. Okay. Uh, well. I missed last night's game. Well, I tried to make it about sports, but there we go. You watch Well, I mean, else? one, I don't care about the Sabres, like, at all, or hockey. Okay. Two, it's hockey preseason. I've never watched hockey preseason. Three, it's preseason. Sure. I don't watch any form of preseason. No, you can't. Well, I, I did watch a couple of the Bills preseason games this year, but that's only because I wanted to see Sammy Watkins. Yeah. Which didn't work out very well because we didn't see Sammy Watkins. No, no. Fortunately, not. Yeah. All right, should we wrap it up? You think? I think we should wrap we it should up. Should definitely wrap it up. All right. So you've been listening to those guys who talk about everything other than sports <laughs> on sports. I'm Connor Kirst. I'm Jeremy Swordout. I'm Evan James. And we'll catch you next week, next Monday. Probably at the same time. Should uh, be a good one. Yeah, assuming we didn't get canceled. Yep. All right. Okay, bye.
Have a wonderful day, and thank you for listening. You're, you're some great people for listening today. Same. Woo! Okay. Thought I like broad stuff in you. 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 Thought I like broad stuff in you.